with, without. Today we're going to play with all kinds of different clamshell reflectors in bright midday sun. Welcome. Today we are going to talk about clamshell lighting, specifically the clamshell reflector. First we're going to pick the winners for the two light stands, the Ulanzi MT49 and the Sealens. Interesting because one of the reflectors we're going to be talking about today and I'm going to show you is a Sealens reflector. So I'm going to have the winner picker girl pick one or two, both. So, uh, okay. so the first one is the Sealens carbon fiber light stand. Okay, and... JJ Pulik from Las Vegas, Nevada, right around the corner. It's a neighbor, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, last light is... The Ulanzi MT49. Richard Frazier, another neighbor from Walnut Creek, California. That's where I had my restaurant. Awesome, well congratulations you two. Uh, and uh, we will now get on with the video. Actually not Walnut Creek, Pleasant Hill, right next door to Walnut Creek. All right, today we're talking about clamshell lighting. The reason they call it clamshell is because it looks like an opening clam and the person's in the middle. Normally people have just a soft box above or off to the side. Key light should always be above eye level. The problem is you start getting shadows underneath the nose and the the chin. It's not as flattering when you have shadows. Real glamour lighting has no shadows at all. Look at the difference between this and that. What's happening is the light is not just aiming at her face, but it's also bouncing off the reflector here back onto her. And the reason this is curved is you have light coming from the sides too. I mean, you could just have a white board underneath, and that does work, but it just basically only comes up from the bottom. It doesn't hit from the sides very much. But if you have nothing else, the benefit of the curved one is it comes from all sides, and that's what makes the face look better. Now this one here is a Westcott eye lighter. It's called an eye lighter because it lights up the eyes, puts like a nice reflection in the eyes. If you want to get something professional like this, this is about $200. I'm going to show you cheaper versions, and then we're going to go out in the sun, and I'm going to show you things where you, that are even cheaper and lightweight than this. Glow Arc Light has one that's $150. Manfrotto has something called a Triflector. It's three different sections, $250. Neewer has a a clamshell reflector that's $120. Limo Studio has one for $100. And Range Rider Sealens has one that's only $80. And that's the one I'm going to show you in a minute here. And Fomito also has one for $78. Now before you go, oh, I'm going to get the cheaper one, there's a reason the Westcott costs more. Not only is the fabric thicker and more heavy duty, but notice it's textured. The cheaper ones all have this really, really shiny silver, which has these hot spots that blind you and dark spots that don't put out any any light at all. The pebble texture on the other hand is a little frosted so it's not as blindingly bright and it diffuses the light so it's a lot softer and more evenly spread. I'll show you the differences in a minute. Now most of these do not come with a stand. The Limo Studio does. It's hundred dollars. They all come with different types of fabric here. Silver is one of them. They also have a white, a black, and a gold silver which is the one that, that I like. We'll get to that in a minute. Now if somebody's sitting at a table you could just put a white card underneath them or a silver sheet. Even a glass table can reflect light. Or if there's no table, you can put the foam core or the silver on their lap just below what the camera can see. But if they're standing up, this is this general way that uh, glamour photographers do it. Do they make portable ones? Yeah, I'm going to show them. We're going to go out to the desert in a second here and we're going to take portable ones. These, uh, this thing is kind of awkward and bulky. I'm going to give this one away actually, um, but I'll show you other alternatives. While we're in the studio real quick. I meant a portable one, like real small, like the size of a small book. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you in a second here. Here's a light that I got from China. It's a curved light and um, you could use that. Uh, it's a little small for my taste. I got a couple of them. Another option is a strip soft box. This is another way of doing it. You have a strip light below. Look at the difference here. But again, this only comes straight up from below. It doesn't curve around. But what about when you're outdoors and the sun is coming from overhead and you got the harsh shadows and everything? That's where a good reflector is, is really, really helps. So let's go take some portable ones out into the desert where there's nothing but, there's not this soft box here. We're just gonna have the hard sun. And we'll use a reflector and we'll see what that looks like. So follow us. All right, so here we are in the desert. We have uh, hard shadows. The sun is getting up there. 
it's like was it 10 30 or something like that yeah. so it's not high noon yet but she's starting to get shadows so i've got the sealens version here this is the size of what it looks like when it's uh collapsed down for carry so let's put one together and then after i show you the professional uh reflector thing i'm going to show you homemade really cheap lightweight things that you can do and i think you'll get a kick out of that so let's set this one up this is one of the cheaper ones this is the 80 dollars one it comes with silver white black and the gold silver they're all really shiny really highly reflective the material is a little thinner than the westcott but it's actually bigger than the westcott and as you can see they all take a really long time to set up this is the most annoying part of these things all right so i've got the basic shape put together that took <laughs> i could have gone to lunch and come back and still be working on it this, this, this is not a quick thing to set up i'm going to use that really lightweight light stand that I like so much so you can adjust the angle like that now this is a silver one this particular model uh, it's silver with the base one but there's velcro on the edges here so I want to use the gold and silver one I like this this is actually good because silver is kind of cold gives it kind of a cold uh, color to your, like a bluish color. And gold is a little too orange. So when you mix silver and gold together like this, you get a nice, uh, a nice, nice color for skin. Always try to find a rock to put on the legs to hold the uh, stand. So now the stand is secured. And now we're ready to take some pictures. Notice the nice, beautiful golden skin tones. This again is the gold and silver reflector with the zigzag pattern. I really like the look that it gives, if your model can handle the brightness. This is highly reflective gold and silver. The other side is white. Let's try the white side. All right, so here she is in the shade. Her face has got shadow on it. Now come forward into the light. It's subtle, but she's still getting a reflection. It's not as harsh as the really shiny gold and silver is. So this is without any reflector, and this is with the white. The shadows are a little softer. And this is with the really shiny silver. It's obviously blinding her. And this is with the pebbled silver on the Westcott eyeliner. Still bright, but not as bad. But still, all of these are super, super brightly blinding in bright sunlight. Well, what we need to do is tone down the sun <laughs> in order to tone this down. So I can turn that sun into to a softbox actually just like we had in the studio this morning but in order to do that we need a diffuser i made a video about this kind of stuff before i'll put a link down below this cuts down the light a few stops but it really softens things up all right so here she's in diffused light with no reflector underneath and this is with the reflector this is with no reflector and this is with the reflector but yeah, I know this is too much hassle. So what can we do without a diffuser that's cheaper and a lot simpler? It's something that doesn't take forever to set up and it's not as super bright. I got this at Home Depot. These are uh, insulation, uh, rolled up insulation. It's really, really lightweight. You get 10 feet, two feet wide by 10 feet long for about 20 bucks. This is the one that I like the most. It rolls up really, really, it's really lightweight. It weighs nothing and it's really thin, it's super light. I bought some half inch by eight inch thick aluminum uh, flat bars and I glued it to the edges here. I got two very, very lightweight uh, ultralight light stands here, which if you've seen my last few videos, you should know about these, they weigh nothing. This is a little clamp that goes on the top of the light stand. I just clamped that in there. Now this is highly reflective silver, uh, which, is, which is actually, Pretty good for when it's like a little bit overcast or something. But let's say this is too shiny. Let's get something white that is really, really easy and simple and lightweight and cheap. So let, instead of silver, let's do white. What do you think I'm gonna use? I went to Walmart twin size bed sheet for $9.80. I cut it in half because I only need a two foot strip so I can make two of these. So this is actually $4. I glued a dowel onto the end here. So now I have a white reflector here. You can't use these things for dowels, but you can use something like this. This is a clamp that has quarter inch and three eighths inch threads in there and this screws right onto the top of the um, light stand okay so this is blowing in the wind right well this is where another high-tech piece of equipment comes into play a little one by two just a piece of wood to hold it into place and you got a V so it's not as shiny and you're still getting 
two sides here reflecting in on your face. It's not much reflection, but it's better than having harsh shadows. This is without any reflection. Here's with, here's without. With, without. Okay, and then we have this thing here. This weighs nothing, it's super lightweight. This is a uh, three-part thing. It's a gray card, a black card, and a white card. But it also has silver times three, so you can use it like a sun reflector. So now you have a portable reflector. That's real, I mean, you could clamp it if you want with a light stand, but I mean, this is so lightweight. For, if you really want to do something fast and quick, it weighs nothing, and if you use it with diffuse light, this is what it looks like. With, without. With, without, and with. There's your glamour lighting right there. Outdoors and bright midday sun. If you want to use white, what I suggest you do is this. Speaking of gray card, here we have a large gray, gray uh, white balance thing. On the other side is white. Reflection, no reflection. Reflection, no reflection. So this, that's pretty good. It's pretty travelable. Travelable. We got a new word now. If you don't want to deal with the big bulky stuff that I just showed you, another way to fill in the shadows from underneath is just like a little flash, like a speed light or an AD200 from on below. Of course, you got to deal with setting the right light levels so you don't get monster lighting, and you got to uh, use a flash trigger, and it's a little bit each way of doing it has its ups and downs, but this is really portable. I mean, you can just have a little light from below, or even have two of them or you could be shooting through an umbrella from below. So that's another way. This is really, really portable if you don't want to do the other stuff. Okay, so that's our little reflector uh, from below thing. It really helps to get some of the shadows knocked out. And I'm showing you different ways of doing that. And uh, maybe hopefully you got something out of it. I'm gonna give away both the uh, Westcott and the Sealens. Uh, MarcusPix.GiveawayInner.com for anybody who wants it. I don't have the case for the West guy. I don't have any other color. It's just the silver one and it does not have a swivel mount on the bottom. The new ones do. This is an older one. It doesn't, but it's got the pebble texture. Anyway, um, so that's it. How are you doing? I'm not freezing. Yeah, it's and a little... Blind. No. It's a, It's a little cold out. It's still winter time, but I like it. It's nice. It's refreshing. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,